Hey, what's up, peeps? Spencer Smoot here. Uh, unsolicited QA. Um, bye bye. Uh, so uh, this is part two of the Inside Star Citizen on the gun off the trolley uh, reaction, right? Game reaction, game dev reaction. So uh, part one was about guns and carts. Part two, I'm not sure about. So we'll see. Um, super interesting stuff. I just like it just, I just like seeing Star Citizen kind of come together and like the the small stuff, right? We talked about like last last. Uh, just a second ago, or video ago, um, we talked about like you know the big stuff versus the small stuff, and, and Star Citizen is all about the small stuff. So uh, interesting. I know I don't know what the the rest of it is. So let's see. Maybe shopping carts and mounted machine guns aren't your thing. No, ask Chris about shopping carts on mounted machine guns. We've got a sprint report for you, full of environmental goodness. Let's take a look. A sprint report. Okay. Let's start things off by checking back in with the continuing development of ship to station docking, which, after passing its go no go last week, has now moved into the final art phase where teams will begin working on things like the final levels of detail, signage, and overall polish in the month ahead. Now, while this certainly looks great already, it has been, as is usual with any brand new workflow, a bit of a setup challenge to get the animations working just the way we'd like. But solid progress is being made, and the team looks forward to finishing this out with proper lighting and the big bulkhead doors in the coming weeks. The Planet Content team recently completed a sprint on a new oh, type let me go of... Back to that. Um, there's a super huge heart, art standard on uh, this. I mean, most, most games have a pretty high art, art standard, but um, Star Citizen is kind of one of the biggest, right? So it's it's... Uh, it's gonna take a while. I don't know. I don't know when they're planning on having having this in, but um, it looks good now, like you said. But it's kind of just a, uh, you know, just getting the new workflow. Anything that's new, you know, new animations, new stuff. It just takes time, right? And it's and it's uh, because you're working with you're you're working with proprietary like engine and stuff. Like they're you know they cry engine, but. It's pretty much not CryEngine anymore. Um, and, you know, stuff, it just takes time to learn, right? It's just, it's just a hard thing. That's one of the things about, um, that's like one of the biggest things about uh, art Art is in video game design is learning the, the stuff that you're using. Um, you know, they're not changing, obviously. They're not changing between, you know, this and that, um, right? But it's still kind of like you're used to this workflow then you have to change and it's especially with big companies right like big companies are like the titanic they can't really shift that that easily so um yeah it looks it looks pretty cool and i this this opens up a lot of gameplay a lot of you know maybe we see the holes right whole whole series so that'd be cool um so, and now yeah anyway so let's go on the planet content team recently completed a sprint on a new type of harvestable being added to surfaces in the upcoming Alpha 313. The deadness root is a microalgae that was first discovered in the shallow coastlines of Terra Prime. That's micro? <laughs> now, although it is often used for cooking, deadness can be most commonly found in medical products thanks to its unique blend of nutrients. Astute followers of the public roadmap may have noticed the continuing polish of planets and moons in the Stanton system over the last several patches. And work continues with this look at recent efforts on Lyria, where the team never quite felt it hit the internal benchmark they were looking for, but with updates to both the materials and asset packs is now closer than ever before. They're also working on a return of the corals found around the oceans of Hurston that uses new scan data and includes fun additions like starfish, which I'm told will be sci-fi up a bit before release. Is it like it's it's just so good. It's just like the the planet stuff is so crazy to me. Um, like creating a planet is like it just blow, it blows my mind, right? Like I like I like I I'm making an RTS, right? And, and it's like it's hard, but like I feel like thinking about a planet and then also also making it so it's kind of like you can go from the planet the the ground of one planet to another another. Right in that time, like 
like without loading right and then you can land and then you can pick up some crap like that that fruit thing and you're like hey i want this and put it in your thing like it is it is ridiculous the the technology that they have right and it's and it's also handcrafted too because you know the artists are going through these planets um and they're learning how to really you know perfect them faster right um i don't know what version of planet tech they're on but it's just so so crazy and like the the technology of this game is just ridiculous like it just it blows on it each time each time i really think about it like you can go from freaking hurston to you know um a, a moon land on that moon and then from that moon go to um i'm blanking on everything else area 18 no loading right like you can see some clipping in when you come into planets, but as I, it seems like it's getting less, um, and it's just crazy. It's just, it's just amazing to me. Yeah. Space starfish, coming at you. It's also important to note that a placement pass is still pending, so none of this should be quite as dense when you see it in Alpha 313. Fingers crossed. Looking a bit farther ahead. White boxing continues of several of the colonialism outpost buildings we've seen concepted over the last several months, using the idea of a, of a small home as their starting point. You can see things like the standalone battery pack, the rooftop solar panels, and life support units. They've also begun to box out the small garage unit that can comfortably fit an Ursa rover, as well as a ladder up to the roof because we're always thinking about advanced traversal options as well as some tests using the recently revealed terrain modification tool to see how the overall buildings work with the smoothing volumes. Internally, the team has also begun blocking out the social spaces, the brush extensions that connect each individual module, figuring out where they can hide the placement of viz areas and runtime probes so that they don't create visible scenes for players to see, exploring the potential return of the conversation pit, because everything old becomes new again, have units for players to decorate and store items, and this party in the bathroom. Hmm. There's That's a seashell creepy. joke here, <laughs> but I'm not going to make it. Outside, pre-production has begun on materials explorations and defining exactly how these structures are constructed in the lore of our universe, from the foundation stones at the bottom and up through the various paint layers to exploring new types of hard surfaces for the interior so edge wear effects, which are designed to, to remove sharp corners from every surface. It's a very different kind of building for Star Citizen, so the team is having a lot of fun exploring a more organic looking structure all around. Teams have also- That like Star Wars Galaxies vibes all day. Like I, I was just remembering that was, that was a walk down memory lane of the I guess those are homesteads. I don't uh, homesteads. I just have that in my head, um, and that's what one of the biggest parts of Star Citizen I'm looking forward to is the building part. The uh, I can't think of anything right today. Hmm. Uh, the construction ship, the capital ship, that's construction, um, and uh, it's like that that mechanic and that stuff like is the most interesting to me. You know, having like a construction you know, company that's like, you know, they get called out and, you know, come in, you know, we make a, make a, uh, um, a homestead or make a, a base for people and stuff. It just sounds super cool. Yeah. We've begun the white box block out for two new hospitals beginning their journeys into the persistent universe, including this look at the new Babbage Hospital, soon to be found beneath the Aspire Grand hmm. with new Babs trademark cool. skylight looking out to the skyline above it as well as a pharmacy where you can stack up on med pens and eventually an ambulance drop-off point, which, given the way I play, I expect to use more often than not. That's not weird. <laughs> also in White Box Blockout is Orizons Hospital, which won't be a part of its original release, but is expected in a subsequent drop later this year. Finally, a special treat from some of our team members in our new Montreal studio, a look at initial blockout progress for a new javelin derelict being used wow. as an onboarding test bed for artists and designers alike. Now this was a fun warm-up task 
that allows folks to learn the various ins and outs of our game engine, our workflow, and overall general process. It's just like, it just, okay. the potential, like the potential of this game is ridiculous, right? Like it is so vast, right? And like the, what they're going for is such a vast, like, um, uh, experience, right? And like, like, it just, it, it blows my mind. Like I'm thinking about it of just the, the world that this is going to be when it's finished, right? And it's hard to really see it sometimes because it's, you know, we're, we're in the forest. We don't see the trees or whatever that is. Um, we don't see the forest of the trees um, because we're in it. Like, we see all the bugs. We see all this. But, like, this was just, like, a glimpse of the future, it felt like. Like, you know, you can be one of the people that are just around this stuff. Like, they're, you're, they're scavenging or they're, the, you know, that's the, you know, and then, then you go and you go to these places or you, you know, you frequent a place or whatever right and like you you have your own your own life kind of in star citizen right you you can do what you want to do um and you know just that like it's just the potential of it right the potential of like you can just have a home base next near near here you just come here often right um to because that's that's where you're at so yeah it's just it's just crazy now this was a fun warm-up task that allowed our new team members to learn the various ins and outs of our game engine, our workflow, and our overall development process. And it's delightful to see one of Star Citizen's earliest planetside points of interest potentially evolve into so much more. Now while this was originally just a test, it has inspired everyone that's seen it to explore this idea further later this year. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that with staggers and mounted weapons and push... Okay, um, that's it. Just cool stuff, like always. Um, yeah, just like, I just had a vision of like the future of this game, right? Who knows when it's going to come out, when that future is going to be. Um, but, you know, I think... I think the gaming community learned a huge lesson, hopefully, with uh, Cyberpunk, right? And um, it's better not to come out the game that's not ready yet. Uh, you know, Squadron 42, I would much rather them make sure that it's ready to come out. And when it comes out, then it's just pushed out the door because it's been in development a long time. So it's the same with Star Citizen. is like when it gets complete, it gets complete. Like, it's... It's, I think it's better for everybody, right? Like, um, it's better for everybody to um, just all parties because it's just so much. <laughs> there's just so much uh, stuff. Can you hear that? I don't, I don't know if you can hear it. Anyway. Um, yeah, and it's just so much, like, it's, it's so much, but it's such a deep experience. Like, I, I, I'm... It's just a, it's going to be a deep experience, which is what it's going to be, right? Right now it feels like a, a one-inch ocean, right? Like it's just so big, but there's no no depth to it. But eventually it's just going to be deep, and you can just get lost in this, right? So that's what's cool about this. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, you know, do all the things. Uh, like I said, the dev blog, I'll put a link to my other channel down below. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and comments questions concerns you know tell me you know feedback is feedback and you know uh yeah have a wonderful day and see ya